Hi guys, it's um, guitarist Dennis Tafe, and I'm here for Bargain Bin Amp Extra 8.5. And as you'll recall, uh, Bargain Bin Amp 8 was the Fender Champ X2. That they call the modified tube amp. And remember, this is a tube amp with only three tubes, two 6L6 power tubes, 15 watts of tube power. Um, when I played that amp, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. Um, and um, well, I, mean, I had to take it back to the store. They were asking $250 for it, uh, which is a good price. And I'll tell you, um, I, when I took it back to the store, I put it up against some other amps, um, some big tube amps, like seven, $800 amps, tube amps. And I discovered it really does give you this tube sound. You know, um, well, I couldn't just let that go. Um, I had so much fun playing it. And I would recommend the Fender Champ X2 to anyone who's looking for a tube amp or tube amp sound um, that, well, that can't afford a seven, eight hundred dollar amp. Um, this one's really nice, plus, maintenance-wise, you know, it's only got three tubes. Whereas a lot of these amps, you know, have ten or more tubes. You know. So, uh, highly recommended, highly recommended. Now, I was interested in this amp. And, um, well, I looked around to see what amps I had. Maybe I could trade in. And I ran into a couple of surprises. And I'll let you know what those are here in a future edition of Bargain Bin Amps. Um... In any case, I came home with the Fender Champ X2. Uh, I just think it's a great um, tube-like sound. I put it up against some solid-state amps, and uh, the difference was obvious. And even if you do own a super expensive tube amp, you know, uh, you don't always want to put the wear and tear on the on an amp, you know, that you want to hold on to and take care of and that kind of thing. And this is definitely where the Fender Champ X2 comes in. Uh, now, uh, I'm outside here, and my car, <laughs> the, the, back, uh, the back of my car is just filled with amps. I'll show you. Okay, here are some, and then back there is the X2. You can see it back there. So I'll be going over those and other editions of Bargain Bin Amps. Um, and it's been a lot of fun and really exciting, you know, um, trying out all these different amps, seeing which would work for me, which wouldn't, which I found worthwhile, which I didn't really, you know. Um, and some of the main differences, especially tube versus solid state. Uh, which I definitely have a better handle on, you know, other than just automatically assuming a tube amp is better, and so on. Um, which is why the Fender Champ X2 is, is such a great amp. It's, you kind of have the best of both worlds, you know, you've got a, a modeling channel on channel 2 or you have a, a, a tube 
channel on channel one, or at least going through the power amp really sounds well like a like a tube amp, you know. And and here's what's funny is I had three amps that I was gonna trade in, and uh, so I got them cleaned up, ready to go. You know, so they could take a look at it. And while I was there, uh, well, we plugged some of these little amps in, and I had a matching set of these little 15-watt uh, solid-state Crate 15R amps, and all of a sudden we were blown away by the sound, the sound of them, you know. Um, and I mean, that's a small sound, that's for you know, coffee house type gigs, you know, which I have played a lot of really in the past, you know, and always needed just the smallest amps, really. So, so I changed my mind and I didn't trade them in, and I'm glad. Um, I would put those up with, you know, and then plugged in the Fender Champ X2. Of course, the difference was immediate, you know. All of a sudden, you had that tube-like sound, um, a lot bigger, low-end, you know, um, and more dynamic, you know. And that's the big thing I found is that solid state is kind of the equivalent of a line level, you know. It's kind of not very dynamic, it's just straight across here. Whereas the two bands is much more dynamic, you know, uh, as far as highs and lows and those kinds of things. In any case, um, I think I, I made the right decision. Uh, I really love the, the Fender X2 and highly recommend it, you know. There, there aren't that many you know, inexpensive um, tube amps out there, really. Um, and this is one that I think is really a great amp, especially if you've got different voicings that can emulate other amps as well. All right, that's it for this uh, bargain bin extra. All right, see you.